December 1st with our One Minute Wisdom from the Daily Stoic Calendar. And before I get into that, which has a tremendous theme this month, I have certainly enjoyed the past 11 months of reading a quote each day for the Daily Stoic and researching a little bit about them and incorporating more of their thoughts, their philosophy into my own life. I had a great example of it this morning. I got up early to take my wife to work because then I'm going to pick her up after work and, and we've got somewhere to go. And I got up, it's like quarter of five, I make my coffee, I heat it up again, I put my protein powder in there because I'm going to hit the gym afterwards and I put it in the blender and I turn the blender on I'm like, oh, I left the little top open and it started to squirt out. So I took a deep breath, I didn't drop any F-bombs. And I grabbed a paper towel. Let me start wiping this down. As I started to wipe it down, I knocked the whole thing of my coffee and protein all down the front of me, all down the washer, the dry or the dishwasher, all over the floor. And man, an F bomb was really close to coming out. And I took a deep breath and I said, you know what? The coffee is spilled. There is nothing I can do about that right now rather than just take a breath and clean it up. And that's what I did. My wife came down. She helped me out a little bit. And then I, I made another one. So yes, I've, I've grown a little bit from reading my Daily Stoic quotes. Seneca, let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. And the theme at the bottom is pretend today is the end. Whoa, that's a little bit of a, a mind blower, right? And the theme for December is meditation on mortality. I always talk about the contemplation of your mortality. And I talk to people and I say, do you think about the fact that you're going to die? I mean, I, I don't know of anybody who, who hasn't or who, who won't. I did once. It was okay. It was great, actually. And here we are back. But what they talk about, and I'm so glad they're ending this year with it, is when you contemplate and you meditate on the fact that you are going to die, it should not be sad and morbid. It should be a very empowering thought that gets you focused and inspired Say, okay, what am I up to creating right now? Let me, let me get after it. Let me get off my ass and get after it. And also, when you're dealing with some struggles in life, the contemplation of the fact that you're still here and you have the ability to deal with the struggle should be pretty powerful. So, our one-minute wisdom today is over three minutes right now. But uh, you can see I'm working on my new book, and uh, it's called A Radical Reverence for Your Life, which is very consistent with what um, Seneca's talking about. So think about that over December. Enjoy the fact that you're here and focus on creating some great things and getting through the difficult times if you need to. Because you can, and that's what you're here for. Peace.